welcome back. So today, I want to play in makeup. Big surprise, right? Hits the plain face. <laughs> but I'm just like, you know what? I want to play in some makeup. I'm going to try some different stuff on my face and see what happens. But the real reason why I'm dying to sit down with you guys and have a little fun in makeup today is because of this uh-huh honey yellow eyeshadow palette from ColourPop. Now this is their latest monochromatic release, the yellow, okay? And of course, a lot of times when people see a yellow palette or yellow shadows, it's like, okay, where am I gonna wear yellow eyeshadow and is it gonna show up anyway? So, I am dying to see how this eyeshadow palette is gonna work on me. I've seen quite a few videos and they all seem to look like pretty pigmented eye looks using this palette so I'm gonna dive into this palette today you guys it's really really cute very pretty let me go ahead and insert some swatches right So from these swatches, I am not very excited at all. <laughs> As you can see, uh, yeah, <laughs> I am not excited about this palette at all. I mean, the shimmers and the glitter look very, very pretty, but the actual shadows themselves are just not doing it for me. So right off the bat, definitely going in with a white base and we go see what happens, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I couldn't decide if I wanted to go in with my MAC Soft Over Paint Pot because it is fairly bright or my NYX White Base. So I'm going to actually use the NYX because it is super duper white. It's kind of more creamy than I like. So I'm going to put it on and see how I feel. If I feel like I need to set it or something, I will. But yeah, it's it's white now this palette states that it is a pressed powder palette so there's definitely some you know shadows that are probably not considered eye safe i know there is a glitter in this palette that y'all know me use today okay but i must forewarn you that glitters are typically not eye safe at all even if it's cosmetic grade glitter for the most part they're not safe for your eyes so you use them at your own risk and the companies let you know that it's not eye safe okay so you can't sue them <laughs> if your eye gets messed up but just you know fyi this shade here in the center is a glitter not eye safe will your girl kk be using it today um yes <laughs> Why? Because I'm a crazy rebel, so. Okay, so I am going to set my base with just a little bit of translucent powder. So I use my e.l.f. translucent powder and it's just because it's just, it's, it's really sticky and not in a good way. So I'm just going to use a little bit of powder to help set it a little bit. Because since my eyes are so hooded, it's definitely going to crease a lot okay so jumping into this palette i think i'm going to work from light to dark using this with different palettes you kind of have to decide what do you think is going to work best dark to light or light to dark so i'm going to try and do light to dark so i'm going to start out with this light light yellow here and see how that looks So it is a very faint yellow hue, very faint. Now I'm gonna go into this shade here, which is a bit of a darker matte yellow shade, and I'm gonna place that in my crease area. I'm gonna try the tapping method because I really want to give this palette the most chance of giving me the most pigment. So I'm going to tap and then blend. So that's pretty pigmented. And now I'm just going to gently blend that upward just to bring that yellow up a little bit higher. 
Okay, so that's a gorgeous shade of yellow. It did take quite a bit of stamping and blending for me to build it up to this shade on me. So it did take a little bit of building up. Now I wanna deepen, I guess, mm. yeah, I guess I'm going to deepen my outer corner and my crease a bit. So I'm gonna go in with this darkest shade here. I'm sorry I'm not giving you names, but if you have the palette, <laughs> you'll know what the name is. But I'm going into this darkest shade here. I just don't feel like putting on my glasses, okay? And I'm going to take one of my dense e.l.f. crease brushes because it's a little bit harder and denser. And I want to kind of focus it in certain areas. Build it up a little bit. I don't really think I like this color. It just kind of looks like a pukey brown shade and not in a good way because it's kind of like it's too light for my skin tone. I wish it was a little bit deeper and darker um, because then it would just create like that deep grungy look. Now it's just kind of looks like it feels like to me like I'm just putting a dark tan on top of that yellow and just muting the brightness of the yellow out which is not necessarily what I want to do so I'm just going to go ahead and try and blend out some of that in my crease area I mean it appears to have deepened my outer corners just a tad bit but not a lot so for the lid I want a really bright lid um, I said I was gonna use the glitter, but I'm not sure now. I want to go in with this super light yellow here and just see how that's going to look right on my immediate lid. And I'm just taking a flat brush and just tapping that on my lid. Okay, so I have that yellow down. Now I want to go into one of these shimmers. I want to keep it pretty light and bright, so I'm going to go into the lighter, this lighter shimmer shade here, which is this one. Okay, so that is definitely really bright. It really helps to give that yellow punch to your look. I really like that a lot. Okay, so definitely I would have to say that that bright yellow shimmer really gives it that yellow pop and it's my favorite shadow at this point. I'm gonna throw on a bold black eyeliner and then I will decide if I wanna use glitter or not. Okay, so I know y'all thought I was playing when I said a bold eyeliner. <laughs> I meant a bold eyeliner. So I'm gonna go in with some of my NYX glitter glue and I'm going to just place some glitter just on the initial portion or the inner portion of my lid, just above that black, bold eyeliner. So I did decide to take it a little bit farther on my lid, so I did add a little bit more glue and just gently press the glitter down. Definitely use glue if you're going to use this glitter because it is loose. It has a little bit of a binding agent, but it's very loose, so definitely use a glitter glue. Okay, so as you can see, some of the glitter is like coming down onto my black liner, so I'll try and fix that later. But let's go ahead and move on to this face. So for primer today, I'm going to use my Fenty primer because I really enjoyed how moisturizing it left my face the last time I used it, even though I used a buttload of it. <laughs> I like how it just left my face feeling nicely moisturized while it primed as well. As a foundation today, I'm going back in with my Juvia's Place foundation, and this is in the shade Burkina. This stuff is like mad coverage, you guys. 
serious coverage. try out the elf again I have this in deep cinnamon so I'm going to use the camel concealer in deep cinnamon and see how I feel with this color along with my Burkina foundation you guys the coverage on this stuff is ridiculous I'm probably already putting on too much but it's very very opaque So as you can see in the shade Deep Cinnamon, it does give me a little bit of a brightening effect. So it's definitely nice for that. A little bit of brightening as well as a lot of coverage. Now to do a light setting under my eyes, since I am a little bit bright today, I'm gonna try out this Revolution Banana Deep Powder. I've never tried the Revolution one. I have tried the J-Cat Beauty and I really like it. But I don't think the J-Cat Beauty is this yellow. So I don't know, I might not like this because I don't typically like banana powders. So I'm just gonna go in with just a little and see how I like it. So it does have a nice soft brightening effect, but I wouldn't wanna use too much of this because it is light, even though it says deep deep banana <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with a little bit of my elf bronzing powder to see if I can warm myself up I'm going to use my morphe glamour bronze to basically contour today For blush, you guys, I bought these three blushes from NYX. They came out with these new Sweet Cheeks blushes, and I believe they have four matte colors and four shimmer blush colors. So these are the matte ones that I bought. You guys know I do not like shimmery blush. So let me tell you the colors I got. I got Red Riot, which is this one here, super pretty. I have Bang Bang which is this color here. And it might look close, but Red Riot is a little bit darker, as you can see. And I also got Daydream, which is kind of like a pretty uh, peachy salmon type shade, very pretty. I think I'm going in with Red Riot today. We are gonna go hard in the paint with this blush. <laughs> okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. Very, very cute. And I actually decided to try these out because I have really been eyeballing the minted blushes. Oh my gosh, they're so, so gorgeous. And I almost bought them. And then I saw Andrea Renee talking about these and I was like, mm, let me go ahead and get me a little $6 blush from Ulta, okay? <laughs> so look at that color, you guys, it's gorgeous. So let's see how this looks on my cheeks. That's really, really pretty. I like it. <laughs> and it's pretty pigmented. I'm just using this one go in. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face down before I highlight. So I'm going in with my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray just to kind of get this powder to soak in a little bit. Okay, so for highlight today, I'm gonna to take it back to one of my OG budget <laughs> palettes. This is my City Color Infinite Beauty Highlighting Palette. I got this from Bad Habit or from Shop Hush, I should say, when they were still around. And I love this palette. It's a City Color palette though, so you might be able to find it somewhere else. But as you can see, I definitely beat up this one <laughs> right here. So I'm gonna use that to highlight with today. with highlight 
today because as you can see my skin is not the best right now so I don't want to highlight every bit of texture that I have on my face today but since I am doing a glittery gold eye look I think it's okay for me to shine a little bit so for my lower lash line I'm just going to go in with my Lani stay put eyeliner And I do want to smoke that out a little bit so I'm going into my little Morphe Smoky Eye Kit and I'm just going to take the black and use a little bit of that to smoke out under my lower, lower lash line. Okay so I'm going to pop on a little bit of my Pixi Mascara. I'm going to put on some lashes and we'll figure out what to do with these lips. Okay, you guys, so you know I had to turn into a whole banana to finish this look, okay? And this glitter is going ham all over my eyeliner, so I'm not even going to try to fix it because it's going to keep trickling down. So, it's going to stay where it's at, which is all over my lid. <laughs> so, I feel like with yellow, I was kind of going back and forth with my lips. Like, do I want to just stay nude? Do I want to do something bold? Because, you know, this is a pretty bright eye but I think I want to go purple so we're gonna do a purple lip y'all so I have two of my NYX liquid suede lipsticks that I never ever ever use and I'm going to play around with this dark one on the outer light one on the inner now that's bright <laughs> <laughs> that is bright maybe I should do that all over my lip let me see so this is the lighter one Ooh, yeah that's bright <laughs> this lip is not for everybody okay but you know your girl KK I will rock it and to add even more pizzazz I'm going to go in with this is this LA girl gloss topper yeah, this is the LA Girl Gloss Topper and it has a little bit of glitter in it. I don't know I'd be doing the most. It's a beautiful shine. It adds a very pretty sheen, okay? Okay, you guys, so my thoughts on this Uh-huh Honey palette from ColourPop is that you don't need this. <laughs> if you have any yellow eyeshadow, in your makeup collection at all you don't need this I will say that the shimmers in here are absolutely gorgeous if you're not into glitter then yeah you definitely don't need it but the shimmers are really really pretty I would say these three shadows the shimmers are really the standout to me the mattes are very lackluster mediocre and if you have any yellows you don't need it let me just go ahead and swatch a few yellows that I have in my collection just to give you an idea if you already have yellows what you might already have so this is the Juvia's Place a Freak palette and there is a yellow in here a very light yellow mind you but it's a very you know it's a pretty standard yellow so see that is the yellow in the Afrique palette and for shimmer in the Juvia's Place Magic Palette, there is a beautiful gold, it's kind of like a gold shimmer up here. I mean, oh, oh, gorgeous, let's swatch that. So you see that gold shimmer in the Juvia's Magic Palette? It's kind of blurry, but you see how gorgeous that is? Okay, so you already have a yellow shimmer if you have this palette. Another yellow matte I have is right here in this Profusion Spectrum palette, which was all of $4.99 for this whole pigmented palette. I do have a video comparing this to a more expensive, colorful palette if you want to see that, but let's go ahead and swatch this yellow. So it's a bit powdery, but there is pigmentation there nice pigmentation this palette is really nice let's go ahead and swatch just a few shadows out of this profusion festival palette as you can see there's a whole row of yellows and golds 
So if you already have this palette, maybe you already have some yellows you can use. So there's a really pretty shimmer. That's a yellow matte, very, very light, very faint. And then there is another gold shimmer. Okay, let me see if I can. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So another good option if you wanna do a yellow and gold eye look. And lastly, I do have the Tammy Tropical Carnival palette. There is a yellow in here, as you can see. So let me go ahead and swatch this for you. So that is what that yellow swatch is like. So these are just, you know, a few yellow shadows, shadows that I already have in my collection. And I have a whole drawer full of glitter. <laughs> So honestly, you guys, if you have any of these palettes, the alternative palettes that I showed you with these shadows in it, you really don't need this palette at all <laughs> because it does just give you a basic yellow eye look. I think it's cute. The idea, the concept, everything behind it is really cute. Um, I do like their monochromatic palettes. If you don't have a single yellow in your collection, then maybe this is something that you want to get because it does have the beautiful shimmers and the glitter in it. Me personally, y'all know I didn't need this, <laughs> but I did want to try it out. I was curious about it, and so now I know. And I have glitter all over my eyeliner. <laughs> But it's all good, you guys. So as far as the uh-huh honey palette, you don't need it. <laughs> you really don't. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me as I created this yellow look today. And I will see you on my next video. Toodles!